Happy Monday. Hope you're amazing. Welcome to the next installment of our Theasis tutorials. And what we're going to do today is we're going to have a closer look at the Hotspots tab and show you how to just create some basic hotspots so you can move through your panoramas and create a virtual tour very, very quickly. We're not going to cover everything in the Hotspot properties because it probably needs a whole video to go through every single option. It's so customizable, it's unbelievable. But Let's get some basic hotspots on. Let's link our panoramas together so we can actually walk through the tour. To get cracking, let's jump into Theasis. So we're in Theasis. We're just going to use our demonstration tour as normal. We we'll just click on it. This is all the information we filled in in the last video, but what we're going to do is upload panoramas and build a virtual tour. In the last video, we talked about these tabs down here. Today, we're going to talk about the hotspot properties tab. So what we need to do is we need to link these four panoramas both forwards and backwards so you can walk through this property. And the way we do that is by using the hotspot properties and adding some hotspots. Different hotspots you can use, well icons. You want an icon, it'll be in here. So in the first tab, font awesome, I'm searching for arrow. And it gives me this option, we can go into elusive, look for arrow, get different options, foundation, different options again. So we're going to use that arrow. So what we're going to do is left click it. You'll see the little move icon comes up, drag it to where we want it and let go. Theasis will create that hotspot in that location. Let's imagine we're in the wrong location. We haven't quite, quite got it in place. Two things we can do. We can hold our left button on our mouse and press M and move it. Or we can right click and move as a hotspot and we can move that to wherever we want. But I'm happy there. The idea of a hotspot is to trigger an action. What we've got now is this is this hotspot. Once we click on that, this panel comes up. And what we can do is we can link it to a panorama by clicking the action, or we can link it to an external website. We can display a video. So what that will allow us to do is link to a Vimeo or a, or a YouTube video. We can upload an image and display it to an image. We can actually create an image gallery and put that up there. We can display an information panel. We can display an iframe to show an in-page website if that's what we want to do. We can display a PDF, always handy if there's a price list. We can create a presentation. You can call a number, so if they're on a mobile and they click it, it will automatically ring their business number, or we can click a button and we can go straight to our email. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna to link to a panorama. When we link on it, this box appears. We need to walk through the door. Two things we can do. One, we can lift that and drag it onto the hotspot and let go. And it'll bring up this this window, which is our panorama where we're linking to. Or we don't need to do anything over here. What we can do is we can just take this image, drag it onto the hotspot, let go and it'll automatically do that for us. So that is now linked that panorama to that panorama. We can save this as a preset. So if we click save as a preset and we call it just arrow, we can now use, we go into objects and we go into presets, we can see our arrow we've just created there. So we can now make all of our hotspots the same. Drag our arrow on, put it there. Drag our image on, put it there. Put the next one, drag our image on to there, drag that and throw it on. Now we need to get backwards because what we've done now is we've put four panoramas linked together with four hotspots, but there's no return. So there's no way to get back. If we go into project properties and we go panoramas backwards auto linking, we mentioned we we're going to use this. We just press that button. And now Theasis has created three return hotspots for us to get back. And it will have automatically linked those to our images. If we're unhappy with the location, we can move it slightly. So let's have a look how that looks. What we'll do is we'll press Customize and Preview, which will open up this tab back where at the beginning. And we'll just cl click the Preview tab. So we can go in, have a look around, go forward, have a look around go forward, have a look around. And we can come back, come back, and come back. Now, I don't know whether you noticed, but I've done nothing to set these up as a return. Because we set up our default view properly, 
Theasis knows the view that we need to add on to be 180 degrees behind where our default view is for our for our backward facing hotspots. We may want to put some information on here. So again, we can go into hotspots and if we look in the tooltip, we can we can add some instruction which will now show up when we hover our mouse above it. You can see it says come in. You'll see two more tabs here. You've got basic and icon options. So scale to zoom is that when we zoom in, it'll it'll keep the same scale instead of getting bigger. If we turn that off, you can see it gets bigger. Transformation, when we go left and right, it's locked to the panorama, or if we click that one, it's facing the camera. Where that one stays in place, kind of glued to that door. We can set the X, Y, and Z axes if we need to. As you can see, hugely customizable. I'm just going to reset them back. We can change the opacity and we can change the scale. But we'll leave it at 90. We can flip that vertical, or if it's a right arrow, we can change it horizontally. The second tab allows us to be super customizable the color of this is white you can literally pick any color you want any single color that you would possibly want you can even put in the color swatch code i use um, a dropper on uh, a website and it's telling me the color palette that is actually on this website so if i wanted this pink to be exactly this is just a chrome extension that i use which is called color picker i can put that in press paste and save and you can see that's changed to the pink in the in the logo we can make our icon 3d and not only can we make it 3d we can change the color of the background we can change the icon stroke so when you click on it we can change the color of it normally when you click on the icon it may be black you can change the color of that you can change the background so this green box becomes a black ground and not only that we can change the color of that background if we wanted we can add a shadow of the background icon again if we need to we can add some filters on there if we want to i'm just going to reset everything back to white hugely customizable our hotspot we can also add text which we'll cover in the next video we can add flares if we want to put some sunlight in and pop we can add shapes i use this one quite a lot on tv screens so i can link to a youtube video and you can you can actually draw a polygon line didn't I tell you Theasis was quick and easy? That's us adding a hotspot. That's us linking all four panoramas together and backwardly linking and editing the hotspot to any colour you want, any size you want, anything at all. All done on the fly. And those, those edits that we've done are instantaneous. We can preview them in Theasis through the link it gives us in real time as the customer will see them. So you can edit till your heart's content. That's it it's um it's it's an amazing tool as you as you all know usual stuff like comment subscribe uh, i love your comments i've had a couple coming through that's great keep your comments coming in the next video what i want to do is i want to investigate all of the um hotspot actions we can do i want to go through each one of them and show you because there's a lot in there and again it's ridiculously customizable what you can do we'll see you next monday have a fabulous week hopefully the sunshine still keeps coming out and see you soon Cheers.